So I'm here with Dr. Marilyn Glenville, who is a nutritionist and, or even a nutritionist, and specialises uh, particularly in women's health. And she's just so fantastically knowledgeable about well everything really, aren't you? To do with women, particularly in fertility. She's really hot on all of that. But this is a your great new book, The Natural Health Bible for Women. Um, I know you can't tell us everything that's in it, <laughs> but I mean, for women specifically then, can you just tell us just three things that we should all really be thinking about? Well, I think a lot of problems connected with women's health are also due to lack of energy. So they're not sleeping very well, they don't have enough energy during the day. And it's really important to think about getting the blood sugar right. So they might be living on caffeine, you know, bits of chocolate, sugar during the day. And it really isn't healthy in the long term. It does increase their stress response and they end up feeling more stressed. They've also got stress coming in from the outside. So it's really important for them to eat little and often look after their food so they've not got a lot of caffeine and sugar going in and make sure you know that they're really eating well and regularly throughout the day without missing meals so really important. The thing is though with all of us we are so stressed and we have such busy lifestyles and then we kind of get adrenal damage and then yeah. one thing's one thing on top of another um, and then we want to try and have babies and then you know you want to regulate menstrual cycles and then you get into the menopause and, yeah. and so it goes on so I mean if women read this book are you going to be able to give us a kind of a real overview and the real holistic picture because I guess that's what we've really got to look yes, at. Yes and we're looking then at not only the nutritional side using certain vitamins and minerals and herbs like Siberian ginseng to actually feed the adrenal glands thinking about the lifestyle side you know making sure the exercise is there and then looking at that emotional side of it you know maybe getting some space time for themselves some meditation you know stress techniques relaxation techniques it's like you said it's putting a holistic picture in and not just thinking of just a magic bullet because there isn't one. Mm. It's looking at this in a whole picture of addressing all the different aspects of their health. And one thing that's going on with me, me right now, and I think it's in the media a lot, is I'm wondering if I'm lacking in vitamin D. Everybody's talking about this, aren't they? But I do know that you know you shouldn't really just take masses of vitamin D unless you've been tested to show that you really yes. need it. I'd love to know your view on that. In a good multivitamin and mineral, where it is in there about three to 400 IUs a day, absolutely fine. But it is an important nutrient because we now know, apart from its benefits on absorption of calcium for some prevention of osteoporosis, it's beneficial in terms of prevention of heart disease, is breast cancer, anti-aging, has an effect on the immune function, so aches and pains in the body, autoimmune conditions. But you're right, we should actually do a blood test before we add in extra. The vitamin D and a multivitamin and mineral fine important to know whether we are deficient because it's toxic at high levels so we'd add in extra after doing a blood test three months time retest it make sure we get back to normal but it is thinking about getting out in the sunshine because that's how we manufacture it in the body mm. but we not too much presumably 15 minutes 15 minutes and not, in, and not in the hottest part of the day not between 12 and 3 so without any moisturizers on our cosmetics because they will have inbuilt sun protection factors mm. and then also thinking about yes we do get it from the food we get it from oil fish and egg yolks. Not in high amounts, but it's still some going in, as well as what we should be getting from that exposure to sun. Mar Marilyn, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And uh, lots of success with this fantastic book. Thank you.